Okay, now that we have all our keyframes and our buttons in place, let's finish the game. And to do that, we're going to need to finish the code. So we have the play button here, button underscore start, and instance name btn underscore rules, and we'll put the code in to get the buttons to work on keyframe one. Okay, I pasted the code in, and the top part right here is the code for the button. So btn underscore start, that's the instance name of the button, dot on press event handler equals a function, go to and stop the game on frame label, this has to be in between quotation marks. Then I do the same thing essentially for btn underscore rules, except we go to and stop the instructions frame label. Then underneath that I decided to set the score to zero and then load it into the text box, the dynamic text box, and I did the same thing for lives. That way when the game starts right away we see that the score is zero and that the lives are zero in the text box. So that will make the buttons work and jump us to the instructions playhead and to the game on keyframe as well. So now let's look at what we can do to change the game code so that we can take advantage of the additional objects that are falling in our catching game. For instance, if I go to cow underscore MC and I double click on my little movie clip here for the cow, you can see that I've added two extra keyframes here and I changed the graphic. Before it was just this cow head, but now if you go to keyframe two, I have the rattlesnake. And then on keyframe three, I just colored in the cow head. So this gives me three different objects to choose from from falling uh, in the game. On the actions frame, these are just stop actions. So if you open one up, you'll see just a stop action. So now, how to write the code so that we can choose between the three different objects. So back to scene one, the game on code, we'll go in here and we'll drop down in the code to the function create cow. So we're going to work inside of the create cow function and when we create the cow, we set all these properties, right? the Y property, the X property, and we even set some custom properties when we said my speed and we set a random number for a my speed property which I just made up. Well what if we make another random number and we say if the random number is between 1 and 10 and if the number is from 1, 2, or 3 you get the snake. And if you're 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and, and 8 you get a uh, regular cow head, but if you're 9 and 10, then you get the colored cow head, and that's what we're going to do. So what I'll do is I'll just copy this line, and I'm going to paste it right below, and make another random number property. So I'll say my type, meaning my type of cur cow, right? My type of object. And this will give us a random number right now from 0 to 13, and so I want to change that so that it's between 0 and 10, so it's math.random times 10. And that looks pretty good. And now what we want to do is we say, we're going to use an if statement, and we'll say if the, the number is less than 3, go to the snake. So we'll say if cur underscore cow dot my type equal equals or I'm sorry is less than or equal to three then cur underscore cow dot go to keyframe two and that'll change it to the snake. So if everything's working now and this looks good, we hit control enter and we play our game, we should see eventually a snake fall. And we'll see here if we get a snake. There's a snake. So that looks pretty good. So then we can say copy this whole thing, copy and put it below, and I'm going to use this as an else if. If the number is 
greater than or equal to 9, then current cal go to and stop 3. And then we don't have to do anything for the final one because it'll just stay on keyframe 1. So if this random number is less than or equal to 3, we get a snake. And if it's 9 or 10, we'll get a colored cow. And we can test it out. And you can see that we should get all three types. And we'll see here there's type 1, there's type 2, and we need to see type 3. And there's type 3 so it's working nicely. So now we have the three different objects falling and we want to put in the game logic now that gives us different points for the different objects. So what we'll do is we'll scroll down in the game code and you can see here, oh here's the variable score equals zero and then the score text dot text equals score. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and also put in the lives here as well. This is important for when we replay our game and we jump directly to this playhead. We'll want this to be correct. So we'll say lives. So now we have both of those in there and we need to make this equal to lives. Perfect. Okay, and we'll keep going down. And the cow move function, this is where the cow is dropping. And you can see that what we have currently is if there's a collision, the cow's moving, if there's a collision, we increment the score by one. But what we want to do is we want to change this so that if we get a snake, we lose a point. And to do this, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to put in an if statement. So we'll say, if, and I think I can use the this to car target the cow head. So if this dot underscore current frame equal equals one, let's see here, then it's a regular cow head. If we're on keyframe one inside the current cow movie clip, if we're on the first frame, it's a regular cow head. And if that's the case, score plus plus, you get one point. And then we'll say, we'll copy this and paste it. And I will put an else here. Notice how I've put this on, I can put it on a new line or right here, else if the current frame equal equals two, then it's a snake and score minus minus. So you lose a point. And then here at the end, what we'll do is we'll say, else, and we can put that there, open curly brace, close curly brace, else if we're not on current frame 1 and we're not on the current frame 2, then we must be on the current frame 3, which would be the colored cow head, and if that's the case, score plus equal 5, and that means we'll get 5 points if it's a colored cow head. Now at the bottom, we no longer need this score plus plus, so we'll get rid of that. And we do want to put the score, however, in the text box. The score underscore text dot text box needs to be updated to reflect the current score. And we then we'll play the catch sound and remove the movie clip. So if this works, we should see the score change if we get a, uh, depending on the type of object we catch. So we'll try it out. So we'll say, okay, does that work? And the snake, negative one, beautiful. If we hit the snake, we lose a point, but if we get the cow, we get a point. So let's try it out here, hold on, we'll see if this works. All right.